Let's get started on Bobbert Menendez, dude. Indicted on bribery charges, the absolute goat, the goat of New Jersey. Federal prosecutors here in New York, Diane, have charged Senator Menendez and his wife with having a corrupt relationship with three New Jersey businessmen, and they outline in the indictment the alleged steps Menendez took to benefit those businessmen in exchange for bribes that took the form of cash payments, a car, a no-show job, even gold bars and, and the payment of a, of a mortgage by these businessmen, according to federal prosecutors. Menendez is alleged to have given the Egyptian government sensitive U.S. government information to More like Biz Menendez? No, he's just doing, yeah. Dude, dude, Bob Menendez is so funny because like Bob Menendez and his corruption, it has been known for a very long time because he already did this, right? He already did exactly this and was criminally prosecuted, okay? And it didn't go anywhere. So then he decided to do it even in a more comical capacity with like gold bars and shit. But also the other side of this story that I personally love is that he still got like committee assignments. You know what I mean? It's, it's hilarious to me that the fucking Democrat party was like no this guy that was actually fucking criminally prosecuted for bribery we have to have him here there is nothing we can't have anyone better than bob menendez it is so funny in 2019 senator menendez proposed to his girlfriend nadine by singing to her in front of the taj mahal in india this occurred over a year after prosecutors say the couple who met at a new jersey ihop initiated their scheme to use menendez's position to aid the government of egypt's brutal dictator these hands could hold the world by the way, Bob Menendez is a perfect representation of someone who, uh, like, the, the classic bit that I have where in America there's only two nationalities, like two ethnicities. You're either Mexican or Italian, right? When you're in the tri-state or, like, when you're close in proximity to the tri-state, you become Italian. And when you're close to the Southwest, you become Mexican, right? Now, Bob Menendez is Latinx, okay? That's what he said. He was like, oh, they're trying to put a Latinx man down or whatever. But, like... No, he is so Italian. Like, I never in my entire life have ever seen him as a Latino man. I have only thought of him as an Italian man. This, in my opinion, proves that, like, it doesn't matter. If you're in the fucking tri-state, you are literally Italian. He's Cuban, which is pretty much Mexican plus Italian. <laughs> no, he's not Cuban. I don't believe it. He is Italian. Do not tell me that Senator Bobbert Menendez is anything but Italian. I will be uh, pushing back against that. He's from New Jersey. You can't be Cuban in New Jersey. You can't be Mexican in New Jersey. You're Italian. So let's get started. Senator Bob Menendez was charged Friday with secretly aiding the authoritarian regime of Egypt and trying to thwart the criminal prosecution of a friend in exchange for gold bars and cash as prosecutors unsealed a corruption indictment that accuses him of using foreign affairs influence for personal gain. I mean, good thing he doesn't have any like serious position of power or influence in the Democratic Party is what you might be saying. Or maybe you're asking, oh, wait, fuck, he's the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. That's crazy. Uh, surely he's never done this before. This is a first off. Oh, this is the second in eight years against the powerful 69-year-old New Jersey Democrat. What? You mean to tell me that this happened and the Democrats were like, no, no, no. This is our guy. You don't understand. He needs to be here. He needs to be in this position of power. He needs to be the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. The indictment coming years after an earlier criminal case against Menendez ended with a deadlocked jury. Also charges the senator's wife and three New Jersey businessmen who authorities say showered the couple with money, gold, and a luxury car in exchange for his actions on their behalf. Authorities found more than $100,000 worth of gold bars in Menendez's home and $480,000 in cash. Much of it hidden in closets, clothing, and a safe, prosecutors say. This is the most Sopranos coded shit. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Tell me a lie. Tell me he's Cuban. Tell me he's Latino. Tell me he is not an Italian man. It, there's more. And there's photos, by the way, which we are going to look at. Photos included in the indictment show cash that was stuffed in envelopes found in jackets bearing Menendez's name. Authorities found a Google search by Menendez for how much is one kilo of gold worth and DNA of one of his co-defendants on an envelope in Menendez's home 
filled with thousands of dollars of cash, they said. Prosecutors allege that Menendez took repeated actions to benefit Egypt despite U.S. government misgivings over the country's human rights record that in recent years has prompted Congress to impose restrictions on AIDS. His step includes ghostwriting a letter to fellow senators encouraging them to lift a hold on $300 million in aid to Egypt as well as transmitting non-public information to Egyptian officials about military issues, the indictment says. Menendez in an emailed statement accused prosecutors of misrepresenting the normal work of a congressional office. For years, the forces behind the scenes have repeatedly attempted to silence my voice and dig my political grave, Menendez said. Since this investigation was leaked nearly a year ago, there has been an active smear campaign of anonymous sources and innuendos to create an air of impro impropriety where none exists. He said he has been falsely accused of accepting bribes and will not be distracted from work in the Senate. Menendez is saying... He did everything right, and they indicted him. I love this. I, I it, This is my favorite type of story, okay? It's just like such clear-cut cases of corruption. Menendez, I'm going to do uh, that 99 million international arms deal you wanted. Oh, by the way, I love that he's also saying there's no wrongdoing here because they have him dead to rights, as always. Here's what happened. Nadine Menendez, tell Will, Hannah, I'm going to sign off this sale to Egypt today. 120 million uh, target practice rounds and uh, 10,000 rounds tank ammunition. $99 million. Note, these tank rounds are for tanks they have had for many years. They're using these in the uh, Sinai for the counterterrorism campaign. Nadine Menendez forwarded his text to Hana, who forwarded to the Egyptian official. The Egyptian official replied with a thumbs up emoji. It's so fucking good, dude. How do you expect justice even in these cases? Where is the hope? Where is the hope? Why the fuck should we care? He's going to bond out and do the same shit. I mean, he might actually be going to jail, I hope. Or at least, like, he'll get a fucking slap on the wrist. He will not be able to get reelected. There's that. Actually, you know what? I don't even fucking know because New Jersey is just, like, they don't give a fuck. And he, this man has been utilizing the the powers that the Democratic Party have uh, offered him to to fill his pockets with literal gold bullions like a like like he's Daffy Duck or something. Like, a, or no, what's uh, what's Donald Duck's, like, rich uncle that dives into the fucking pool of coins? Like, like Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, he's just crazy. It's comical, man. It's comical. He had like, because it's all Ill illegal, illicit gains. So he just doesn't know what to do with it. So he, he doesn't have a good washing operation. So he's just like stuffing the pockets of his jackets, homie. Scrooge McDuck, no relation to Donald Duck, racist. Okay, my bad. I don't know the familiar relations with like uh, the Duck families. Okay, fucking shut up. I, I want to explain something to you guys. And I've talked about this quite a bit. It is very difficult to do bribery outside, uh, outside of the boundaries of what is legally permissible. Why is that the case? Because America has codified and legalize bribery in the form of corporate lobbying. So when you actually get hit with this, that means like you've gone above and beyond. And in the case of Bobbert Menendez, he's done it multiple times. That is what is fucking nutty. Like he got caught and was like, nah, fuck that. I'm going to keep doing it because like, psh, whatever. And the other aspect of this uh, corruption and bribery situation is that he can always just say, well, I was going with what I was going to do anyway. Why can I not just get some cash in the form of gifts? The hilarity in the situation is he could have just reported the money that he was getting. He could have found a legal way to, to get aid or uh, get campaign contributions. He could have just done all of that and then just spent his campaign contributions on whatever the fuck and write it off as though he was campaigning again for his uh, third, uh, fourth senatorial run right? He didn't do any of that. When it is, it is literally legal to do most of this shit. He literally just didn't fucking care. I feel like it could have been the thrill of it. You know what I mean? Plausible deniability out the window with his name on the jagged like that. <laughs> yeah. He's just going to say, listen, your honor, you don't understand. One, I'm Italian. Two, I need to be gifting subs for all my New Jerseyans out there in the Hasanabi broadcast because at the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. Today, I'm announcing that my office has obtained a three count indictment charging Senator Robert Menendez, his wife Nadine Menendez, and three New Jersey businessmen, while Hanna, Jose Uribe, and Fred Davies for bribery offenses. The indictment alleges that between 20... I, I do, like, this is one of the very, like, pro-cop moments uh, that you will... This is a very incredibly rare pro-cop moment from in the, on the Haas and Ivy broadcast, but, like, when they do this kind of stuff, I'm like, yeah, this is good. This is why... This is literally your job. Like, your job as a district attorney is to straight up do this, okay? Prosecute this kind of corruption and bring charges and ensure that justice is served. Oh, $100 million deal and he's only making thousands shaking my head. 
Dude, first of all, that's like, that's good money. Like, the 100 million is going there anyway. You know what I mean? He's literally getting money. He's getting money for a deal that was going to happen anyway. So for him, it's like he's just getting paid extra, which by the way is almost like half, I mean, it's more than half of the congressional yearly salary anyway, right? It's just free fucking money. When they got there, they discovered approximately $500,000 of cash stuffed into envelopes and closets. Some of the cash was stuffed in the senator's jacket pockets. <laughs> some of the cash, some of the envelopes of cash contained Davy's fingerprints or Davy's DNA. What you see here are three kilograms of gold. These three kilograms together are worth approximately $150,000. See, Bob didn't even need to Google it. There you go. They did it for him. It's so awesome. I, God, I, oh, I love American politics so much. It's so stupid. It's so silly. It's so great. How do you fail at bribery in the USA? Dude, I just, I don't, I don't get it. It's, it's legal. It's legal. It's legal. It's basically legal. It's more legal than jaywalking. Okay. Jaywalking is technically illegal, which means like you're, it's up to the officers to not fucking uh, charge you with it or, or, or choose to uh, do it, okay? This, on the other hand, bribery is absolutely fucking legal. It's legal. You could just do it above board. Yeah, he could have just like done a talk in Egypt and got like a speaking fee or something. Because it's not like the money that he has uh, funds and I, I think like the, the weapons that they were sending to, to, to Egypt were like outside of the norm, right? And of course here you can see just a fraction of the cash that was uncovered as part of the scheme. Now, I wanna make a couple of things very clear. First, my office remains firmly committed to rooting out public corruption without fear or favor and without any regard to partisan politics. That's in our DNA. Okay, well, in, well, have you considered that it was in Bob's DNA to do side deals and side hustles? Hustle culture is in our DNA. It's kind of fucked up. Especially coming after a fucking Italian man like this is so unjust, so incredibly unjust. This is exactly what Trump was talking about when he said the, the entire Department of Justice is just rotten to its very core. Senator Bobert Menendez was doing hustle culture. It is in his Italian DNA. What's next? Are we going to prosecute Italians for being creepy to women? Is that what we're going to do? Italian Americans are now going to be prosecuted for, for getting handsy sometimes? In the words of Andrew Cuomo, I'm not perverted, I'm Italian. Let's talk more about this. Elliot Williams, talk to me about your reaction to this. Specifically, I'm really interested in, we're talking about a sitting U.S. Senator who is the chair of the Senate Foreign, Senate Foreign Relations Committee. And you're talking about... Dude, this is so sick. I mean, God, I love that. It's hard. It's hard not to fucking love it, folks. Oh, my God. I love I love Republicans getting locked up or uh, getting caught up in some kind of, uh, you know, criminal investigation for their many wrongdoings. I love it when it happens to Democrats, too. A lot of people will come in here and be like, mm, Hassan, I bet you wouldn't like it if they did this to a Democrat whenever I'm, like, talking about fucking, uh, I don't know, lock them up. That drained the swamp on a rethuglican, right? And it's like, nope, here it is. There you go. I'm excited. I'm here for it. I love it. It's fucking awesome. You just heard a U.S. attorney say that he was working to benefit the government of Egypt. <laughs> Not good. Um, and moreover, uh, what's interesting is the manner in which the exchange of favors, if you want to call them that, plays out is often through his wife. The way... Bro, bro, come, okay, dude, come on, dog, come on, dude, I'm not gonna elaborate further, but come on, dude, if you thought we were done with the Menendez saga, you are wrong, my friend, here's Charlie Kirk, who also gave his two cents on Bobert Menendez getting fucking indicted for corruption, let's see what kind of incredible takes we'll hear, I mean, certainly he'll say, wow, this is good. This is great. Uh, I'm glad that it's happening and end it there or talk about how like the uh, Democrats are corrupt or whatever, right? Because like, that's what I would say in this situation. That's what I have said so far. Let's see how he will react to this situation. It's important to understand the way that the fourth branch of government operates is with intentionality. There are no mistakes. There are no indictments without the right hand knowing what the left hand is doing. So the first most obvious takeaway is important. They're doing this to create the appearance of impartiality. Oh, oh, 
Oh, okay. He's the fall guy. Dude, Bob Menendez is the fall guy. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is pretty funny. Flashback, Trump congratulated Senator Bob Menendez for beating corruption charges. Trump thought he was talking to Menendez in 2018 in a, uh, in a 2018 prank call. Trump, how are you? Congratulations on everything. We're proud of you. Great job. You went through a tough, tough situation, and I don't think a very fair situation. It's cool because, like, he he also is, like, he, he's just in it. Like, he's like he's an appreciator of uh, crooked deals, you know what I mean? And, like, bad phone calls that you make to facilitate, you know, bribery or even holding up, uh, you know, foreign aid or whatever or military aid, whatever, whatever control you have over a certain aspect of congress real recognize real game recognizes game he's just a fan of phone calls who um, here is good at geoguessr ludwig is that it but are these marijuana plates uh -huh. i'm not seeing anything oh please this is so freaking scuffed i hate this game okay i cut him out oh, clutch i thought red dirt red normally means like brazil or something i don't know if that helps me why are we gonna use my instincts ethiopia ethiopia no I hate this game. Is this how you guys feel when you're playing Valorant and shit? Like you're just like, wow, a fun game for me.